Hi everyone, my name is John and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a table of contents or populate a table of contents automatically using APA 7th in Microsoft Word. So let's go ahead and get started up here. I'll switch over to uh, my example here. This is from one of my former students and uh, what you'll do first, let's see here, we've got our title page and we're going to continue on down. We've got our abstract and everything right here. And then we've got the contents. This is where your table of contents will, will populate. So what you'll do, what you need to do first is uh, you'll need to set your headings. So let's go right ahead and we're going to first of all highlight all of our headings. So this first one is our highlight of our abstract. And if you can see this, we're coming up here to where it says uh, heading one and, and you can find this in the home the home tab right here up at the top left So click on home and you'll come over to heading one and you'll right click and say update heading one to match the selection Okay, so that's uh, that's attributed to the abstract right there Okay, now we'll come down to the next one and we've got our introduction that is a level one heading So you'll highlight the word introduction come up to heading one right click update and we'll go on to our next one here. So what you have to do is you have to go through in your entire paper and you're going to have to, you'll need to set this uh, according to the headings. So let's continue down. This is still the introduction. There we go, previous studies. Uh, so I guess that's like a lit review. Highlight that, that's gonna be a level one right here. Still going through our previous studies. I believe the student said that this was some notes that they had written. So they're not done yet. Okay, research. So here's our method for the project. Again, that's a level one heading. Now within the research method, I believe there should be an introduction overview of the company case study. Okay, so this would be part of the method, but this is actually a subheading. So that would go under a level two heading. So you'll right click at level heading two and update heading two to match that selection. Let's continue on. And let's see here. For one overview of the fiscal results, I believe that's a level two. Uh, I'm not exactly sure here what the student had the question mark for, why they, why they had that question mark. Uh, again, this, this paper is not done yet. 10 points of failure for the first time. Now let's say that, uh, okay, well this is probably level two as well. Let's say that we can find a level three heading all right, let's see the strategy they use. I'm, I'm assuming that's the strategy of uh, the ten, Tenya, or whatever the, the name of this company is. Yeah, the Tenya. Um, so we've, we've set this one up here, and let's say that this is a level three. So you'll right click at level three, and you'll update that to a, a level three heading. Okay, we'll continue on. Interview from the same industry. Uh, we'll call that a level three for now. It all depends on what you have placed in your paper. And these are some notes I believe the student had written. Uh, here we go. Okay, so discussion is going to be a level one heading. Update that to a level one. And we'll continue on here. On down to the conclusion. Uh, the discussion should be the conclusion, but the student has that as a conclusion here, but a conclusion would be a level one heading. And finally, we have our references. So you'll highlight references, right click on level one, update that. Okay, so we've assigned all of the, the headings according to level one, two, and three, and we'll come back up to the top to where we have our contents. This is going to be where our table of contents will populate. And what you'll need to do is you will need to come over to where it says references up here at the top, click on references, and you'll find near the left, it says the table of contents. So click on table of contents. And when that drops down, we're going to make a custom table of contents. And it depends on how many levels you have. In this particular case, case I made three levels. If you have two, set it to two, but you're going to do this from a template and set the number of, show the number of levels that you have. Okay, and then you'll click on okay, and this will populate your table of contents right here. 
Okay, good. So there's our table of contents, and we've got these according to level one, two, and three. And you can also click on these. These are all hyperlinked as well. So if you want to go directly to the abstract, it'll boom. It'll come. You. It'll take you back up to the to the abstract. Now, if you want to come down to the references on page 22, click on that, and there's your references. All right. So. Very good. So um, anyway, so that is how we can create our table of contents in APA 7th. And if you have any questions at all about this, please feel free to email me or just comment down below in the video if you do have a question. And I look forward to hearing some of your comments. All right. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.